Today I talk about flow through annulus. Fluid is flowing in an annular space between two coaxial pipe. So here that fluid is flowing in this annular space. Now here outer pipe radius is R. So this is outer pipe radius R from the center line and inner pipe radius is kappa time R from the center line. Now consider maximum velocity can be found in that annular pace and location of that maximum velocity let us say lambda times r from that center line. Now here I will find the velocity profile and lambda and k relation and then I will find the location of maximum velocity as well as maximum velocity. Now if you see in that uh, two picture. So, last video I already derived velocity profile, location of maximum velocity and maximum velocity. Uh, in I, I, this, this is the picture. So, I took all this parameter and I derived that. So, I consider this left hand side picture and where uh, you know that outer diameter of that, uh, that larger pipe. So, that is R2 and inner pipe uh, that radius is R1 and uh, I consider as a R max uh, of, uh, as a location of the maximum velocity and also I calculate the maxi maximum velocity as well as velocity profile. So, here are that, that R max relation with R1 and R2. This is the velocity profile uh, in terms of r1 r uh, and that r max obviously that is function uh, this is dp by dx is constant now here uh, i will express that at in this picture now if you consider this uh, right hand side pic picture that picture is same everything is same only the that uh, notation is different expression is different so here that r2 r2 as expressed in this picture as a r r1 is pic, uh, express picture uh, express as a uh, kappa r and that r max as a lambda r now i will use that r kappa n and lambda and i will put all this and i will find the relation between r kappa and lambda now in that here i am taking that uh, this relation and i am trying to plug that r1 and r2 value and r max value and i will get that lambda and kappa relation so here i am plugging that r max is equal to uh, lambda r and r2 is a r and r1 is a kappa r and i plug the plug all this value finally i got one relationship between lambda and kappa now i will plug this relation into that velocity profile as well as maximum velocity now here earlier i got this now i plugging uh, uh, plugging that r r max again r so now if i do some mathematical operation and if i reorganize so i'll get so velocity profile so this is the velocity profile i just reorganize and i'll do some mathematical operation and finally i got that velocity profile so this is the velocity profile now finally again if i uh, reorganize again and then final reorganization and final velocity will be something like that mm, mm, u is equal to 1 by 4 mu dp by dx r square plus capital r square 1 minus kappa square ln 1 minus kappa ln r by capital r minus r square now here if you change different r value you will get different velocity now finally already we know the uh, that we consider 
the maximum velocity location and I will use that I am trying to get the maximum velocity so now here so this is the profile now we know at r is equal to r max lambda r so u will be u max so now if I plug that r max and uh, <coughs> and we already know the relationship between lambda and kappa so from that we will get that u max is nothing but minus 1 by 4 means dv by dx r square 1 minus lambda square minus ln then lambda square the bracket close so now finally final conclusion is that if we consider this picture with this parameter so inner pipe diameter is kappa r outer pipe diameter is r and location of maximum velocity is uh, lambda r from that center line so we will get the relationship between lambda and k so this is the relation and then so if you know the lambda so if you multiply it with the r so we will get the location then we will get the velocity profile in terms of kappa and r so if i change smaller we will get that velocity profile and then we can easily calculate maximum velocity if we plug that r is equal to r max or lambda r so we can get the maximum velocity so e max is equal to minus 1 by 4 mu db by dx r square 1 minus lambda square com common so then 1 minus ln lambda square packet close so that things we got uh, after plugging or replace that r2 as a r r1 as a kappa r and r max as a lambda r that's it. Thank you.